for you to, to, to throw away everything. I will not be free with him again. I will not be free with her again. I will not I will not I will not talk to him or her again. They are forcing you to take the mark of the beast. They are forcing you to take what is it, it go it go against the scriptures and you are here fighting and you are here arguing and you are here do you don't know what to do. My sister, no more jokes. The Lord says I should tell you right now that if your right hand, one of your hand is causing you to sin, you better cut that hand off. In other words, if this mobile phone, if this Android phone, I don't know the kind of phone you are using, and I don't know the kind of device that is causing you for not having time for you to read the Bible, my sister, you better throw that phone away. You better mute it. You better switch off the internet. Because the devil can use so many ways. The devil can use so many ways to just take your soul. The Lord is electing his people. The Lord is electing his people. And the, the, the most dangerous part is we are not ready. We are joking. We are joking and we are not ready for the Lord to, 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 to elect us. You see? It's very sad. If this phone is causing you, you will be you will be on social media 24-7. We have some people, my friends, those who follow this page, when always when you come to, on Facebook, they are active. And I like I, I'm like, ah, I can how what time do, do they pray at all? Or do they meditate on the word of God at all? Or do they read the Bible at all? Or do they pray at all? Or do they seek the favor of God at all for the Lord to have favor on them or for the Lord to have mercy on them. You always see them on media active. Please, my sister, if you if you, if you feel in your spirit that you have not been elected, it's a danger. There is danger ahead of you. Go to your secret place. Weep and ask the Lord that I've, I've had have I get the Z of the Lord? If this Android phone you are holding is causing you to sin, you better drop that Android phone out. If you are married, if you are a couple, if you are a couple over here and your husband is causing you to sin, you better cut that husband out. In other words, I'm not trying to say you should, you should divorce. Or you should divorce. You should divorce or you should divorce. So please, anything that is causing you to go to hellfire right now, he said you better cut that thing off. There will be dangerous time. He said this fire you are talking about does not quench. This fire you are talking about right now does not does not go down it's always on heat and you have never experienced such fire before you have never experienced such fire before do listen to the background song when the saints are gone there is no more repentance when the same saint has been raptured there will be no more safe my sister, we are shouting. We are shouting. My brother, we are shouting. We are shouting. We are preaching repentance to you. It's not that we don't have anything to do. We have a lot to do. We have a lot to do. It's not that you want to get fame. But we, we, we think about your soul. We know that after judgment, there is a after after death, right now. After death, we have a judgment. There is a judgment. After death, there is a judgment. So don't joke with your salvation. It's better for you to cut that hand. And he continued to say, It's better for you 
to enter to heaven with one hand than entering hell fire with two hands. Verse 44, verse 45. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you. It is better for you to enter life clearly than to have two feet and be thrown into lake of fire. How I wish you would understand these scriptures. How I wish you would feel these scriptures. How I wish you would feel this voice. Listen to the voice. The Lord is electing his people. As we hear it's a rumor. We have heard it is in a rumor that the Vaseline is the synthesis. The Vaseline is the synthesis. And some of them say, oh, it's not the synthesis. And some of them said it's, it's, it's a, it has a link to the synthesis. And you said, I for me, I'm not going to take it. I for me, I'm not going to take it. My sister, you can't use this body or you can't use this tongue to say, I'm not going to take it. You can't use this body or this energy in you that if the mark of the beast comes out for me, I'm not going to take it. You can say it, but it takes the spirit of God. If you are not really elected, if you are not really elected, if you are not really elected or the Lord has not selected you that from now going, you are part of my kingdom, you are part of the sheep or and not of the goat, you will take it without knowing it. When the sixes come and you are not part, you have not got the zeal of the Lord and you are still in your iniquity, you are still in your singing, you are still fornicating, you are still backbiting, you have the spirit of division in you and you have the spirit of judgment in you and you have the sin, you have the spirit of discriminating with you, you will take that mark of the beast. You will take that mark of the beast. You can't take it by mouth. Oh. You can't just job it or build it, cast it in the air that ah, for me, I will not take, I will not receive it. Ah, for me, I will not receive it. It is by the grace of God. If you are not elected, you will take it. So the sin that is commit, com, you are committing or not letting you for the Lord to zeal you or the Lord to not elect you, just cut it off. You don't have any more time. We don't have any more time. Can you please share this voice to the people? Can you share this voice to your, to your contact? Then when the saints are gone, there is no more repentance. There is no more repentance, my sister. It's very serious. Take your repentance right now. Repentance is right now. While the saints are still on it, there is no more repentance. And we don't have power and authority. When the Lord has not elect you, you will take the mark of the beast automatically because the Lord has not elect you. So you are not part of them. Serve the Lord in true and in spirit. If the let me tell you what is about to come is just a mere thing. It's just a mere thing. Do you know something? 2020, the coronavirus that spread and killed almost half of the world, the people of, on this earth. It's not by it, 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 it's made by man. They just created the virus to kill my kind in their sin. Imagine and calculate the, 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 the numbers of people who die on that year. And calculate how many souls would they enter heaven. How many souls are in heaven and how many souls are in hell now? From the death of the coronavirus last year. And it's very sad. And it's very sad. What is causing you to sin? What is hindering you? What is your addicted sin? Stop following in quotes, nonsense. Stop following 
what is what, what does not let the spirit of God dress in you? For 47. Uh, we are in the 47. And if your eyes causes you to sin, block it out. It's better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into the lake of fire. It's better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than having two eyes and be thrown into the lake of fire. A fire that can never be quenched. A fire that does not go down. A fire that does not have the heat like the same like the fire you use in your kitchen. There is no more repentance when the saints are raptured. After the rapture, there is no more repentance. After the rapture, you can't stand what the devil is about to do. My sister, my brother, how I wish I can convince you to take this message. How I wish I can convince you to take this message. Are you sure you are elect and you can still fight? And you can still divide, divide people, cause confusion among people. Are you sure you are part of the elect? And you will say quietly, are you sure you are part of the elect and you are self-righteousness? Are you sure you are part of the elect and you are still fighting over doctrine? Are you sure you are part of the elect people? Are you sure the Lord has elected you that today you will be raptured? Or when the rapture comes, you are part of them and you are still saying, I follow Apollo, I follow Paul. There is danger ahead of you. There is danger ahead of you. Do you know something? Let's go. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Do that repentance right now. Do that restitution right now. Confess your sin right now because the Lord said in the book of First John, saying, If you confess your sin, He's a faithful and righteous God to forgive you your sin. Why don't you do that restitution now? Why don't you confess your sin right at right now? I'm talking right now. You are watching me, so that you can your name can be read in the book of life. When your name is in the book of life, you have been sealed. The Lord will seal you. He will send His angel to elect you. That sister, sister, you are part of them. Brother, you are part of them. So when the devil is bringing his device, he's bringing the disaster to cause you to. To blaspheme God, you are elected. First uh, Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Let's listen to the word of God. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. What is the actual sin you can't let it go? What is the actual sin that you can't let it go? And you love it, the addictive sin, you think it's easy. It's not easy, but it is by the grace of God. And your work, your effort in Christ Jesus, your effort in the gospel, that the Lord will have mercy on you and he lets you. What is your effort? Why you spend 24 hours on this media? We spend 24 hours on Facebook. After Facebook, you spend 24 hours on YouTube doing nothing. Just watching, slow me. Watching something that is unnecessary. Repentance is ready when the saints are still on earth. There will be no more repentance when the saints are gone. He said he will raise the dead. Those who die in the righteous will be rise and they will be raptured, including those on earth. My sister, don't be left behind. Most of us here are left behind. They are doing, they are just sampled, but they have not realized what the Lord is about to do. Who is in the spirit? Let him listen to the, what the spirit will want to say to these people. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8 says. 
be self control and alert at this last time, at this last minute. Be self control and alert because anything can happen. That says the Lord. Be self control and alert. If they say something, it's alert. It's like a soldier pointing gun to shoot. He's ever alert. So he said, be self-control and alert. Be self-control and alert. This is the last message. This is the last voice. That's why I have changed this channel name from holy life to the voice that the deceiver that call on the desert. John the Baptist was calling on the desert, preparing the coming of Jesus Christ. The first coming of Jesus Christ. And this is the last voice preparing the way for the second coming of Jesus Christ. So listen to this voice and you will be saved. Listen to this voice and you will be saved. My sister, don't joke with your salvation. Don't joke with your salvation. He said be self-control and alert. And be alert. But ask yourself, are you alert? Are you alert? When they say something is alert, I don't know how to describe it. I can describe it to you as a soldier is pointing gun to shoot. Be alert. This is the alert the Lord is is expecting for us. He said you should be self-control. When the Bible says self-control, so you can control yourself from everything. When it comes to fornication, you can control yourself. When it comes to quality, you can control yourself. When it comes to lust, you can control yourself. When it comes to fight, you can control yourself. Be alert. You are not late. We just started. You just started. You are not late, my sister. You are not late. Be, be, be alert. You'll be left behind. Let, let me tell you, if you are left behind, I was remember I got a rapture revelation. In the revelation, I the rapture happened and I couldn't be raptured. And I was like, what I felt in the, the dream, I can't describe it. My sister, when the rapture happened, go ahead and share, please. Share this voice to the year that the Lord wants it to listen. Share the voice to the years that the Lord wants to save. Share the voice to those who the Lord wants to elect. I got the rapture revelation, I think two years ago. Yes, 2019. I got rapture revelation and I couldn't be raptured. And how I felt in that dream, I can't even. How I wish I can describe it to you. In that, that in that dream, I I, I was I, the, what I had. The, 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 I saw angels that they are blowing trumpet, po, 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 and that sound of trumpet I have not heard some before, and they circulate like the background over there. It was a circle like the background over there. And I saw our Lord Jesus Christ coming with a fire, a multitude of angels. I couldn't be raptured. And let me describe how that rapture is. It, it's just a minute. It comes and they are fleeing from, from the air to the air. They are fleeing up. They are fleeing. And I saw myself come be raptured. I shake myself and I was not raptured. I look forward and I look back. I look west and I look west. I couldn't be raptured. And I was like, why? I preached the gospel. I preached the gospel. Why did I? Why, 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 why am I not raptured? And it confirmed the Bible. My friends that knew me, that I'm lady pastor. My friend that knew me. That if rapture, if rapture should be take place right now, I will rapture. They came and see, hey, Aga, you are you didn't rapture, you didn't rapture. My English is not good. You couldn't be raptured, and they are teasing me. Twenty nineteen, I got that revelation for myself. For myself, they say, Aga, you couldn't be raptured. A whole you. You don't allow us to sleep. You will be preaching on the local announcement. Why didn't they are teasing me? 
and those friends they are not from the same uh, the area I was they are from afar they purposely travel and come and see that if I'm raptured this is what is going to happen you are be living a righteous life and you have been throwing your makeup, your wig, and your jewelry away. And you, was, you, you, you always look down upon your friends that you are going to hell. And at the rapture, you couldn't rapture. And they came in that dream and said, Hey, you couldn't be raptured. They are laughing and teasing me. So I knelt down and shout, Jesus, in the dream. Why didn't I rapture? I have been preaching. I have been winning so for you. I have a clean heart. Why didn't I rapture? And the Lord told me, you are all forgiveness. The spirit of all forgiveness is in you. And I like, I'm like, wow. At that year, I was, I, I told myself, I have a grudge with a sister, my fellow sister, my Christian sister. And I said, I will never talk to her again. This, this is the spirit of unforgiveness. This caused me not to be raptured. Because I check myself and I weigh myself and I assign myself. I qualify to be raptured. So broadly in the dream, I asked the Lord that why didn't I rapture? And I heard the voice of the Almighty rolling like a mad lion that you are all forgiveness. When the rapture was taking place, you have that spirit in your heart. You decided not to forgive your fellow sister. That is why you didn't rapture. And I couldn't do anything about it. And I saw some people. I saw some. I have this that video over the two years ago. It's on this media. You can search for it. And I saw many people. Some people I well know that oh, these people they, they, they are not going to heaven. They are not going to those people were raptured, and I couldn't be raptured. And I was on heat. You will sweat that time when you don't rapture. When the rapture takes place and you are not able to rapture, my sister, you can't compare any pain to it. You can't compare any feelings to it. You can't compare. And I, ha I remember I have a, a second rapture uh, dream again. At that time, the rapture is about to take place. And I don't know anything. And it was like, wow! And I, I was... I was like helping myself to flew, flew, and indeed I was fleeing slowly, 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 slowly. But in after after I got out from the dream, I was asking myself and the spirit of the Lord, why was I, why was I fleeing slowly? It's all right to fly like those flying to the to meet our Lord Jesus Christ, and I held in my spirit that it's life is pretty pretty things I have to do. My sister, being raptured is not just by mouth. Being not taking the mark of the beast is not just by lips. I will not take it. If you can't just take your mouth and tell you cannot take it. If right now I'm talking, if you know you have something with your brother, go and plead for the Lord to elect you because right now, in the realm of the Spirit of God, the Lord is electing his people. The Lord is electing his people. How sure are you? How sure are you? Do you know something? Now, end time Christian. End time Christian. Discrimination will not let them to rapture. Unforgiveness will not let them to be elect. Backbiting will not let them to be elect. Judgmental and self-righteousness. It's a sin in the sight of God, so you'll be not elect. Love, you don't have the spirit of love. I'm talking about agape love. Bloodly love is not in you people, so you can't be raptured. 
Have you seen what I'm mentioning? It's not fornicating. It's not adultery. It's not bloodshed. This petty petty sin you don't you don't respect or you don't carry it as a sin. It's the same sin as a as a as a as a gay gayism or lesbianism. These petty petty things will not allow you to be raptured. Or when the Lord is zealing his people, you are not clean, you are not holy, you are not pure, you are not perfect, you are not qualified to be elect. The zeal of God should be here right now. You have to test yourself if you have the zeal of God. Do you have the zeal of God? What they are bringing, what the head of state, the head of this world is bringing to the saints. Don't joke with anything. I those who join late, the year 2020. The Lord let the let the devil to divide the whole world into three. If I'm, my calculation is good, into two or into three to come mankind just like that. The elect, the, the, the Lord give them such powers such authority to kill mankind just to they, are, they die in their sin most of them because on in that time i remember italy italy and china those people especially china and china they don't they don't they don't they, they don't wash they are not christian most of them are other worshipers and they die in their sin and if come to Italy at that time last year 2020 that the gayism and lesbianism they are celebrating their, uh, their anniversary and they die in their sin they die in their sin and now 2021 we are not sick we have not taken the vast knee we, we, we don't have the, the, the virus in our body, but they are still forcing you to take a vast knee to your system. A time last year, last two years, if I'm right, last three years, they plan to bring a microchip. They plan to bring a microchip, and you think that microchip things are, has ended. It has not ended, though. They have they have covered it or they have put it in flesh for so the flesh when when you have meat and you don't want the meat to spoil you will put the meat in deep freezer so that it can last for a long time a time is coming and i prophesy that microchip will rise and even be forced by force than the vast knee this is a prophecy i have prophesied in the name of jesus and it's it's the breaker it will come and you can't use this mere body, mere spirit, the flesh to say, I have for me when they have for me when the when the and when the sisters come, I will not take it. I for me when they bring the microchip, I will not take it. My sister, you can't use this muffle unless you are elect, you have the zeal of God in, on your forehead. Unless you have the zeal of God on your forehead. That's why you can stand and say, I will not take it. And you can never take it. Hallelujah. The same thing applies to Peter. James, James Ryder. They, they killed James to death, if I'm right. And by the time James was, die, was dying, they stoned him. By the time he was dying, heaven opened for him to see. So he was glorifying Lord while they are stoning him. That is what that means he have the zeal. So even he don't feel the pace. You have to get up. You Stephen, Stephen, God bless you, my papa. God bless you, Stephen. Stephen, right now, God richly bless you. God richly, richly bless you, my papa. Stephen, the stone Stephen, the, the same thing is going to happen. Yours will not be stony. They will not stone you, Stephen. They will not storm you like Stephen, but they will bring injection. 
they will bring you uh, uh, some equipment that is hotter than stormy. And heaven will be open for you. And you will see the angels around you. But those who are persecuting you will not see. Because the angels of the Lord is around you, you have been zeal. That spirit will boast you and challenge the Antichrist. Will challenge the authority of this word and say, I will not take it. The spirit in you. That's what the Bible is making us understand in the book of Mark. Chapter 9, verse 43 to 48 said, If your right hand is causing you, my sister, cut it off. No more jokes. No more to tolerate something. You are here classifying yourself that you are going to heaven. Discrimination is sending you to heaven. You are discriminate. Discriminator. This is my, own, my English in my own dictionary. I said discriminator. In the sight of God, you are the same as lesbianism or gayism. You see, my second, my second revelation of the rapture, I said I saw myself rapturing, but I was going slowly, slowly, slowly. No, if you want to be raptured according to the Bible, you have to go with, with the spirit of God like a magnet. So why, why am I rapturing slowly, slowly? And in the realm and the in the realm of my spirit, I felt that although I'm doing the righteous, I have the garment of righteous, but there is a pretty, pretty, pretty thing I need to work on it, or else I can't be raptured. This is the meaning of my dream. This is the meaning of my dream. So there is no more joko. Anything that is causing you not to be let. Let me tell you, mind of God over here, the children of God over here. If you are really calling the spirit of God, and you know what is going on right now, you know that the Lord is electing his people, giving the zeal of his people. And you are here joking. You are here joking. You can be on this media, looking on celebrities, looking at uh, funny things, comedy, doing all such of instead of you to Go closer to the Bible. Instead of you to read your Bible, instead of you to ask God, I want to be raptured. I want to get the zeal. Anything that is causing you to sin. Oh, he said the first uh, first Peter chapter five verse eight. He said, be self control and be elect. Alert, be alert because anything can happen. Anything can happen right now. Those, with, those in our blood, especially the European country. Stop. Let me tell you, the, the devil is holding the word right now. And it's the power, it's the Lord that has given him that power. Be self-control. Can you control yourself? You want the Lord to elect you, but your anger you can be angry anytime and speak something. I think that the Bible has told you. Bible says you should, if you are a righteous person, you shouldn't allow any unwholesome talk come from your mouth. But because of your anger, anything can come from your mouth. And at the end of it, you will, be, you will regret of saying that. Anger. Anger. My first revelation of rapture. And I couldn't write it. Unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. There is no more repentance when the saints are gone. How I wish I can explain the rapture will take place right now, or you will be die. You will go. You will be in a plane. A plane had accident. The car had accident. You are dead. And you, you, when you open your eyes, you see yourself, you are in different world. And the angel of darkness is calling you, come, come. And you did not see help, you did not go to paradise. And you are in hell. Oh, my sister, it's a terrible. How you wish you can come back again. This is exactly what happened to the, the rich man. Exactly what happened to the rich man. She wants a second chance. The second chance is right now. I used to say some words. I said when you when you sleep and wake up in the morning, don't call it morning. It's a second chance for you to prepare yourself to heaven. 
It's a second chance to prepare yourself. That friend that is causing you to sp spend your time on folk, block him or her. We don't, we don't have time for unnecessary cause. Any cause that does not bring you, draw you closer to the Bible, that does not draw you closer to the Word of God, that does not draw you closer to Jesus Christ, that does not draw you closer to heaven, block that person from your heart, from your mind. Add that, and you go to the phone and block him. We don't have time. We don't have more time. When the saints are gone, you can't do anything again. He said, be self-control. Control yourself. This time around, the Satan will come close to you. The angel of darkness will come close to you. Your former boyfriend and your former girlfriend will come closer to you. The one who always says stupid things to you for you to be angry, he will come closer to you. By the Bible says that be self-control. Control yourself. He will come closer to you. Your boss in, in that work, place, work center. He will the center will elect him to, 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 to maltreat you, to speak things that will make you anger and speak against speak against him or disobey him. Be self-control because anything can happen. What if you slap him some? Or you slap him or hey, you slap him, or you reply him with quiet. The Bible made us understand in Philippians, Ephesians, if I'm right, Ephesians, that anything, don't suffer for good, uh, bad evil, but suffer for good, but for doing good. Suffer for doing good. Suffer for doing good. So anything that is causing you not to be elect, cut that thing off. This is what the Lord is telling us. This is what the Lord is telling us. And he keep on telling us, be self-control, control yourself. We are in the last days. Your husband will disturb you. Your wife will disturb you. Your children will disturb you. Including your mother will disturb you. Your father will disturb you. Keep yourself self-control. Control yourself. Ask the Lord to give you that spirit to control yourself. The mighty chapter 7 verse 7. At first, at first, it was like, ask, you shall be given. Seek, and should be found. And you are asking for, Lord, give me marriage. Lord, give me a visa to our blood. Lord, I want to get a visa to our blood. I want to build a house. I want to buy bridge over. I want to buy rose rose. To right now, that ask and it shall be given to you is to ask your salvation. Ask your righteous life. Ask the Lord to write your name in the book of life. Ask the Lord right now to write your name to seal you. Because what is about to happen, you can't stand when you are in the days fresh. You have to be in the spirit. Can you quickly go to James chapter 4 verse 17? James chapter 4 verse 17. The book of James chapter 4 verse 17. The book of James chapter 4 verse 17 says, Anything that is causing you, my sister, you better carry on. You don't have any more time. No time. James chapter 4 verse 17 says, Please let me listen to what the Lord wants to tell us. Chapter 17 says, he says, he says, he says, he says, where is it? Okay. Elijah was a man just like you, if I'm right. Uh, James chapter 4, four. Okay. James chapter 4, verse 17. 4, 17. I was reading 17. Where is it? Okay. Anyone, anyone then who knows the good he ought to do and does it not to sin. Sorry, sorry. He all what he's trying to say is those who know the good and does not do it, it's a sin to them. This is the meaning. Those who know the good and does not do it, it's a sin to you. So you know that the discrimination you are doing it. It is true, my sister. Yes, they are confirming. They are confirming that it's true. Your daughter is disturbing you, your husband is disturbing you. Everything is disturbing you, but you have to be self-controlled. And this Bible verse, where James chapter 4 verse 7, is that 
those who know the good that not do it's a sin it's a great sin you cannot be raptured you cannot be let so you know that when your husband is insulting you you have to be shut up because you want to go to heaven if your daughter is you have to control yourself because you want to go to heaven if that boyfriend of yours is still calling you to for you to fornicate or to for you to lax for him you have to be self control he says he's in word that those who want to go to heaven has crucified this flesh so at this moment you have to crucify this flesh if you are not ready to crucify this flesh and forget about heaven and think about hell this flesh will let you to fornicate this flesh will let you to do body therapy. This flesh will tell you to do transgender. This flesh will tell you to do gayism. This flesh will tell you to beat your wife. This flesh will, flesh will tell you to insult your husband. This flesh will tell you to dress nakedly. Be self-control. Crucify this flesh. When the Bible is talking about the flesh, the or the spirit. He said this two things cannot come together. Either the spirit will control the flesh or the flesh will control the spirit. So right now, which one are you taking? Are you letting your flesh to control the spirit of God? Or you want the spirit to control the flesh? I urge you or I, I, I force you to take the spirit of God. It's the only thing we need is at right now. We don't need any more. And he says, the sign of the end time, the sign of the end time, he said there will be two people on bed, one will be taken and one will be left. Are you the one who will be taken or you are the left behind? It's dangerous. One, many will be in a vehicle, one of them will go, the driver will go and some of the passengers will go and the one beside you will go and the other one will be left behind. Are you the one? Always make sure that you are you will be the one to be elected. And you know how to do good and you are not doing it. You know that you have to respect elderly people and you are not doing it. You know that you have to stop discrimination and you are not doing it. You know that you have to stop judgment and you are not doing it. It's a sin in the sight of God. You know that you have to love your brother that is fighting against you and you are not doing it. You can't be raptured. You are not qualified. You are not qualified. Can you quickly go to Romans chapter 6? Romans chapter 6 verse 23. Romans chapter 6. Anything that is causing you to be happy so that you can't be raptured, I'm pleading, I'm pleading. Just leave it. Just cut it off. Mark chapter 9 verse 43 make us an if your hand is causing you to say cut it off yes my sister I will be there I, I will be the <laughs> hallelujah God's promises yes my sister I will be the want my sister want what is he he's trying to say he will be the one to be taken not the left behind amen in Jesus name Romans chapter 6 verse 23. What is coming? What they are planning to... to just, the verse knee is just small. The verse knee is just... It, it's just... Uh, uh, Matthew chapter 24. When, the, uh, when, the, when Jesus was talking about the signs of the end time. He made mention of the disaster that will happen. And he made us mention that the, that the, the coming is not that time. Let's go there before we come to our, our main Bible verse. What? Mighty, mighty chapter 24. Mighty, I said the, the end is not yet come. So you pass all through this 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 tribulation, this tribulation, the great tribulation before the, the coming of Jesus Christ. And you can't stand by your flesh. You can't stand. Yes, mighty chapter 24, the verse number six says, You will hear of wars and rumors of war, but see. But see, but see to it that you are not alone. Such things might happen, but the end is not come. It's still not come. 
So all oh, this did I start. This is the word I'm what, as, uh, talking about. But the end is still not come. So this disaster will happen, this rumors will happen, this antichrist, all these things will happen, but the end is not it. It said, it's continuing to say in the verse 8 that all these are the beginning of, <laughs> it's, all these are the beginning of birth pain. Birth pain, when our mother is going, going on labor, when they are about to deliver their baby, the pain comes, this is what we are in, and it has just begun. And your faith has grown cold and your love has grown cold you can't pray you can't read bible you can't do good evening my sister good evening you can't play you can't you can't meditate on the word of god you can't ask god for the spirit of god to come you let me say this by the glorified to the almighty today I, I was at work and i said i i and my spirit does not feel happy in me and my colleagues are asking me, why are you sick? Are you okay? Are you facing some problem? I was praying my spirit that, Lord, don't let your spirit always be with me. Let your spirit always be with me. Let your spirit be always with me. Just pray for the spirit of God. Because when he leaves you, Satan is there to, 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 to control you. Satan is ever ready to control you. Let me tell you, the Satan I'm talking about does not fear you. Even our Lord Jesus Christ, he doesn't fear him. Even our Lord Jesus Christ, he doesn't fear him. How much more you? Sorry, my lip. Jesus Christ, he doesn't fear him. He had the guts to go to tempt Jesus. And how much more you? So right now, always pray the mercy of God. Pray the mercy of God. Romans chapter 6 verse 23. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says For the wages of sin is death For the wages of sin is death By the gift of God is eternal life Christ Jesus, hallelujah So the moment you sin You are dead in the spirit I really love the way God is using To teach the people in this end time May God richly bless you I, really, I also really love you for listening You are part of me because when I'm and when I'm preaching and you are not watching and sharing so you are uh, you too I love you I love you much do know something do know something what we just read Romans chapter 6 verse 23 Romans chapter 6 verse 23 he said the wages of sin is death so in this part you just read it and just go go away when you sin it means in the spiritual aspect you are dead Hananiah and Sapphira light and the dead, they, are, they die. So when you sin, it means you are dying. You are, you are dead. My English is not good, you all know. So when you are you can't get the seed of God. The moment you, you say to your, your, your path or your neighbor that you are a fool, you are dying, the seed will wipe away. The moment you insult somebody, the, the moment you sin, you don't sin. To fear the Lord is to hate sin. And every sin is a sin. In the sight of the Lord, we don't have bigger sin. We don't have greater sin. We don't have all sin is sin. God bless you for writing, my sister Sarah. Everything is sin. Being small, being abomination, being iniquity, all are sin. Even if you say to your brother, you are you are stupid, it's a sin. You, your sin carries the same marks like the like the antichrist or like the satan, like 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 gay and lesbian people. At first, I don't see that. This now end time Christians do not have to. We follow some sin more than some uh, uh, some sin. <laughs> My English is blocking. We don't. In the judgment day, every sin can be equal back. Mm. By Christian, I don't know if Satan that has penetrated Satan in the or that has injected Satan in us. Every sin in the sight of God can be equal back. So if, if I'm fornicating and you, 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 you can lie, our sin is the same thing. If I'm transgender, if I'm transgender, 
and you to you discriminate or you you are judgmental or you are self righteousness all this sin the Lord in the sight of God we are the same thing if I if I'm a, if I'm a lesbian and you you you, you insult you disobey we are all the same thing we have to get this we have to get this in mind if you get this in mind you will not compare some sin to God uh, say this sin I did can you be, go, go on in Romans chapter 6 verse 20 23 says that the fear everything and uh, the, the, uh, the wages of sin is death the wages of sin. Can you go to Matthew chapter 5, verse 48? Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Matthew chapter 5, verse 48 says, Every sin can equals man. Every sin in the sight of God, in the sight of me and you, some are bigger than others. But in the judgment, in our judge, in the sight of our judge, Jesus Christ, it's clearly the same man. So don't value some sin bigger than some sin every sin that's why uh, you uh, the bible called us hypocrisy call us hypocrite why you, you have a, a, a something on your eye and trying to remove someone you are dressed from a down to holy you are dressed holy and someone is putting on jewelry you said that person is going to hell fire meanwhile you you have your your jewelry that you don't forgive you have your jewelry, you have you see yourself self-righteousness. You in the sight of the Lord, you have the same jewelry on you. In the sight of God, you don't have some sin bigger than some sin. Can you please read mighty chapter 5, verse 48? Mighty chapter 5, verse 48 says, But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman and lastly has already committed idolatry. You see, if you look at someone, if you look at someone and say, uh, you say, oh, this, you know what the Bible means. And if you look at me and you felt with me that, mm, if you have, if I, I have this, I have that. So if I get you on my bed right now, I go, I go, I go shower the devil on you. And someone is having that on his bed or on her bed. It's the same thing. Is the same thing. So in the sight of the Lord, you don't have bigger sin, you don't have small sin. At this end time, you have to see that anything is a sin. Anything that does not match with the Bible is a sin. If you get it, you will not sin. If you get it, you will never, never, never sin. Jesus is letting his people and I, I, I have promised myself not to share my dreams to you. At this end time, the dreams I'm having, if the Lord permits me, when I'm preaching, I will say some, but I will not just make a topic for it. I know the reason why I'm doing it, that. The Lord is electing his people. His own electing. Always the angels are descending. Go and elect Sarah. Give the zeal of God to Sarah. Give the zeal of God to God promise. Give the, the zeal of God to Prescott. Give the zeal of God. He's zealing his people. He's zealing day in, day out. He's zealing his people. Are you sure? Are you part of them? Have you received that zeal? Have you received that zeal? That thing should be the pressure thing to you now. That thing is to, to be the thing you should be asking and praying for it right now. When the saints are gone, there will be no repentance. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26 says, Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26. Hebrews chapter 10, Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26 says, if, if we definitely keep on sinning, you claim that you have come and see God. You claim that you have taken the Lord as your Lord and personal Savior. You claim that you are living a righteous and holy life. You claim that you are a Christian and you continue to sin. There is no more forgiveness for you again. 
And this right now, in other words, there is no more zeal for you. This is what the Bible is telling us. If you continue to say, if you continue to say, there is the Lord is not going to remember you. If you have seen the righteous dead and you are still continuing to say, this is the word the Lord is telling us. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 20 says, there will, no, there will be no more forgiveness for you. And this Bible verse, we don't take it serious. We don't take it serious. We just read it and just take it like that. You just read it and take it like that. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says, Let's listen to the word of God, please. 5 verse 6. Therefore, we are always confident and know that as long as we are at home in the body, we are always from the Lord. We are always confident and know that we are almost at home. We are almost meeting our Lord Jesus Christ. And we don't use our tongue for anything. We use our tongue to wait upon the Lord. Right now we are the, 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 the foolish virgin and the wise virgin. We are waiting for the bride to come. We are waiting. Oh, my tissue is finished. We are waiting for the Lord to come. So right now we are on the point, the parable about the about the ten virgins. We are now there. We are now there. We are now there. Second Corinthians chapter five verse seventeen. God bless you, Sarah. Okay, let me delete that one for you. So now we are waiting in the spiritual aspect. The foolish one have their lamp with that oil. And the wise one are with their lamp, oil in it, and extra oil. Right now in the spiritual aspect, that is what the Lord is seeing us. So we will go to a point the, 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 the bride will come. And he will take the, 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 the wise virgin and the foolish virgin among us will go and search for oil or currency. And after the bride has taken us away, we have the sheep and the goats. And he will separate the sheep from the goats. So right now, I urge you to be a sheep, not a goat. I urge you to be a wise virgin, not a foolish virgin. Make sure you are always in control. Make sure you are always alert because he said Jesus will come like a thief. In the night when you are not expecting, in the day when you are not expecting, that's why he said you should be alert because anything can happen. That's why he said you should be alert. Anytime I feel to use the Bible, be alert, be prepared that death is ahead of you. You can die anytime. You can acquire coronavirus and die. You can be attacked by coronavirus. An evil person can kill you. An accident can happen to you. So if you are a Christian and you are for heaven, you are on your journey, anything can happen. It's like you are going to, you are, you are, you are traveling from uh, where you are to Europe and you'll be in the prey. You, know, you don't know what is ahead of you. So always be prepared as a Christian. Always prepare as a Christian. Can you go to Isaiah chapter 59? Isaiah chapter 59. Isaiah chapter 59, the verse number 1 to 2. Very profound what the Lord wants to tell us over there. Isaiah chapter 59, 1 to 2. Nine, Isaiah chapter 59 says, Surely the arm of the Lord is too short to save, nor his ears 
is too dull to hear. But your iniquity, but our iniquity, the Lord hand is too low to save you, to zeal you, to elect you. But we will not stop the iniquity. We will not stop the iniquity. We will not stop. We don't have anything like secrecy, yo. In the sight of me, you have secret sin because when you are doing it, I'm not there. But, so I don't know. But in the sight of this judge, the judge is going to judge you. We don't have any secret sin. Our secret sin, our secret sin. In our judgment day, the courtroom, the courtroom, Sister Sarah, the courtroom, Sister Sarah, Sister Juliana, everybody who is watching the voice right now. There is no secret sin. We, it has come to a point. Human beings don't fear. Christians don't fear God, but they fear their pastors. Christians don't fear God, but they fear their pastor lady. That's why when he's dating, he's hiding it from the pastor. When he's dating and fornicating, he hides it from the, the church. When he doing something wrong, he had it. He forget. He has forgotten that that church is not going to be his judge or her judge. Your judge, you have to fear him. He is the one who is going to judge you. I use this opportunity to shout to my fellow Muslims. Muslims, the Quran will never save you. Muslim Muhammad will never save you. Muslim, no, no God can save like only Jesus can save you. I use this opportunity to talk to the Illuminati. Only Jesus can save life. In the book of Quran, Quran make us understand that Jesus is going to come again. And when Jesus is come to come, is going to come again. Whom should you serve or whom should you pray to? Repent and turn to Jesus. No God apart from Jesus Christ can save life. No other religious or religion can go to heaven except you have accepted the Lord Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. No God can save you. I use this opportunity to, to tell FBGC, lesbianity and gayism that nothing can save you. I use this opportunity to tell the Ankanka Harry Christian that no God can save only Jesus can save you. Jesus will be your judge. Return to him. Return to him. Even the Christians, he's going to judge them brutally when they don't accept him. When they don't accept him. I use this opportunity to tell any other religion. I tell you that Jesus can save you, no other God. I use this opportunity to tell the free mercy that there is a second coming. There is a death and after the death there is a judgment. I use this opportunity to tell the faster priest the fraud, those who are frauding, Sakawa, whatever you call it, only Jesus can save. Let's read John chapter 3 verse 17. For God did not send his son. If you think I'm speaking on my own, listen to this. Jesus did not come for only Christian alone. Jesus did not come for Christian alone. Jesus did not come for Christian alone. Let's read John chapter 3 verse 17. For God did not send his son into this world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believe in him would not condemn, but whoever does not believe stands for condemned. He has condemned. And the Muslims will tell me that God don't have any sign. <laughs> you are not on your own, my sister. Yes, you have the spirit of God. Jesus did not come. He said, if you did not accept you, you have stand for condemned. Can I take it again? 
the Bible makers understand the book of Isaiah, if I'm right, he said, I should shout, I should shout and preach, I should shout louder like a trumpet to the sinner. When the sinner did not repent, I, I have prayed or I have washed my hand from your blood. But if I did not tell you the truth, the Lord will ask your blood from me. So my fellow Muslims, please, I'm shouting to the voice of our Lord Jesus Christ. Said, he did not send his son to condemn the world. He did not send his son to condemn, but whoever receives his son and believes in him, he will be saved. So including you, hallelujah, including you, including you, Imam, including you, Malam, including you, stop worshiping idols. Stop worshiping idols. Stop worshiping idols. Your church is your enemy. Your church, Jesus, your enemy, Jesus Christ, will be your church after death. The one who hates will be your judge. So which kind of mind can you should behave right now? He said, verse 8, whoever believes in him is not condemned. But whoever does not believe stands for condemned already because he has never believed in the name of our God, one and only Son. And the spirit of darkness will tell you that God does not have God does not have child. Even you, you are the child of God. So what is the mistake here that you call Jesus as his son? And the one thing I love about our Jesus Christ is, and one thing I love about him is, if you repent today, he saves you. Just listen, just listen to the background song. When they say, Oh, what this little guy is trying to say. There's no more repentance when the saints are raptured. There's no more confirmation, confession of sin when the saints are gone. Repentance is now when the saints are still alive. When the saints are still on earth. Repentance is now. I'm pleading. 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 I serve the Lord Jesus Christ. I serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Even if you are a Christian and you are forsake or you are forget your first love, you have time to look well Christian. The Lord said he will for me to. I call you by the grace of God. Take Jesus Christ again. Confess your sin. He's a righteous God to accept you. Do you want to go down on your knees? I will kneel down and beg you. Let me kneel down. Let me kneel down. Please accept Jesus. Please accept Jesus. Please accept Jesus. Accept him. Accept him. Let him be your Lord so that he can seal you. You can't stand what is coming. You can't stand what is coming. Please don't be left behind. Don't be left behind. There is no more repentance when the saints are gone. There is no more repentance when the saints are gone. When there is no more repentance. Repentance is now when the saints are still on earth. Oh, I wish the children of God will hear this voice and they take the Lord as their Lord and personal Savior. They will drop that phone down and take the Bible. They will be free with their neighbor. They will stop the addicted sin and they commit themselves into the blood of Jesus. Take Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. There is no more repentance. Jesus is letting his people. He is letting his people. He is letting his people. He is giving the seal. He is giving the seal. Have you received yours? Or you are ready to receive the mark of the beast? You are ready to receive the mark of the beast? You can't stand what is about to come. You can't stand. Receive God. Receive Jesus. Receive repentance. Receive repentance and no prosperity. We don't have any time for prosperity. We don't have time for race wars. We don't have time for visa. We don't have time for going over. 
I can't give you anything. What I have to give you is eternal life. I said, Lord, escape from every sin. We don't have small 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 sin in the sight of God. We don't have small sin. Every sin is equal. We every sin is equal. Every sin is equal. Just accept the Lord as the personal savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for accepting the Lord as your personal savior. I want to do altar call. I want to do altar call. Put your hand on your on your on your heart, on your chest. Put your hands on your chest. Put your hand on your chest and say after me. And say after me. Say Jesus. 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 I have observed the world. I have given myself to the the unworthy things. I have tasted it and I've realized that. I have tasted it and I have realized that it's vanity upon vanity. I have tasted a sin. I have tasted a sin. And I've known that. And I have known that it's vanity upon vanity. So Jesus, so Jesus, you will be my church. You will be my church. At the judgment day. At the judgment day. So from today, go and you write my name in the book of life. Forgive me my sin. Forgive me my sin. And write in the name, my name in the book of life. From today, go me. If you are selecting your people. From today, go me. If you are selecting your people. Lord, do not pass me by. From today, go me. If you are electing and insulting your people. Do not pass me by. Forgive me my iniquities. Forgive me my iniquities and accept me as your child. Accept me as your child again. Because I can't stand. Because I can't stand what is about to happen. I don't have time. I don't have any, any strength and any energy. I don't have any strength and any energy to stand for what is coming. So Lord, write in my name in the book of life. Give me the righteous garment. Give me a righteous garment. Take my filthy garment. Take my filthy garment. Take my, my filthy garment. And Lord, put a white garment on me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. May the Lord richly bless you. Julian, Julian has shared so that he has a share battle. God's promise you have not shared. I'm reading comments as we always do and you, 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 you depart. So let me start. The comment starts from, uh, for the first comment, Amen. God bless you, my sister. Julian said, hmm. Sarah said, hmm. Julian continued to say, and time preacher say, uh, give the Bible verse, Matthew chapter 24, verse 22. And uh, yeah, Julian say, Oh my God, and they have been giving symbol. Auntie Marian said, That's what is I'm seeing at my the moment. Yeah, yeah, he's she's experiencing things. Uh, God's promise say, yeah, I have tasted it also, and I have realized myself to my sister. Yes, thank you, Jesus, for confirming. Thank you, Jesus. Mariam said, Amen. God promised, I have shared, Mama. You have shared, and you don't have the share button. Then Facebook hates you, <laughs> Facebook don't like you. Don't mind Facebook. Amen and Amen. Sarah. Barango said, Amen, my sister. Uh, Prisco, Prisco said, Lord, have, Lord, please have mercy on me. Amen. May the Lord have mercy on you. I don't know what you are praying for. Even if, if being 
a righteous life, may you receive it. May the Lord give you a righteous life. If you are trying to make yourself holy by the devil is disturbing you, may the fire catch devil in the mighty name of Jesus. May you receive your righteous life. May the Lord impart righteous life for you. The addicted sin. May the Lord spoil it and put the garment of righteousness on you. May the Lord help you with a righteous life in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that is causing you, anything that is causing you, may the Lord let you cut it off in the mighty name of Christ God. Receive your healing. Receive everything. Receive your eternal life in the mighty name of Jesus. And praise God, continue to say, Lord, have mercy on me. God richly bless everyone, those who did not comment. And Sister Mary just brought her home. He said, Mary, Mamiya, Akwasi, we should have mercy on us. Yeah, you are, they are keeping us in mercy. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Lord, have mercy on us. Because if your mercy did not find us, we can't be, we can't, we can't stand. We can't stand. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Indeed, you will have mercy. Patricia said, Amen. We have all herself before the Lord. God, mercy, mercy, mercy. Amen. Amen. Julian, Amen. Prinska, Amen. Prinska, Amen. Amen. God bless you for sharing as you have shared. May the Lord let you to share your testimony. May the Lord let you to share your testimony in the new Jerusalem. Hallelujah. 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 Um, if you read, uh, the, by the time the, uh, Jesus was instructing his disciples to go and preach, after he has given them instruction, he told them that after you have finished preaching or after you have shared the gospel, Heal the sickness. Heal the sickness. I'll give you the power. Proclaim my name. So I have finished preaching and you are finished listening. May the Lord answer your prayers. May the Lord give you whatever you are praying for. Anything you are asking for, may you receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. With faith, say amen. Bye-bye. I love you all. Just fell in love with this one and it will help you. Bye bye. Holy kiss. Amen.